Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers for Aquarius. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. Um, I am going to pull from this brand new deck. It is Guides of the Hidden Realms by Colette Marin Reed. Love all of her decks. Uh, this one was born out of, she took a painting class and she started to <laughs> realize that there were creatures coming through. Um, she calls them guides of the hidden realms and they came through with very specific messages. So of course she kept going and going and then she and Hay House turned it into an Oracle deck. Here's your message from the guides of the hidden realms. Surrender to the change. Card 24, the art of allowing resilience and adaptability. I know, so as she paints just these, um, these creatures, outlines, um, faces come through, the messages are really beautiful. Um, not too dissimilar from some of her other decks, but almost as it seems like the messages are deeper, if that makes sense. So here is what your message is. Change is the only constant in life. We're meant to evolve, to grow, to move forward, to revel in the poetry of existence before we complete our journey and cross over. You are meant to evolve as a spiritual being having a human experience, and so your soul needs you to experience change. Yet, human beings love familiarity and certainty and have a way of hanging on to the idea of forever, even if it's unrealistic. Things are not meant to remain the same. We are all stories in motion destined to make and unmake ourselves as we travel and evolve. Some changes are welcome as they bring in fresh air, new ideas, innovation, and new energy. In fact, you can sense it, the exhilarating call to something new. In this moment of life, you can feel a potent energy brimming with possibilities. You've wanted this change maybe for a long time, but the elements took a while to come together in your favor. Ride this magic carpet as far as it will take you. This is a time of supreme success. Well, first of all, if you're here as the Aquarian, it's hitting all your favorite words, right? Fresh air, new ideas, innovation, new energy. Um, Aquarius is a fixed sign, meaning um, there are cardinal signs, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, that sort of begin the element, begin like the fire sign or the air sign, right? They're the startup energies of that particular element. Aquarius is fixed among the fixed signs, meaning, okay, now here we are, let's fix it, fine tune it, make it perfect. And then there are mutable signs like Gemini, um, is the air sign that's like, okay, now let's change it up. So you're being called here to step into um, the gifts of mutable energy, of changeability, of adaptability, um, and to not seek the perfection, right? It's a, more about evolution um, than it is about perfection. That is the message. Didn't I tell you those messages are deep? I know, who knew? Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, Aquarius, is pull the main spread, give you my general impressions, then I'll go back through and uh, use the clarifiers for the subtle details and nuances, and we'll go from there. Here we go. So, if we have the Ten of Swords leading out, the overall energy of the reading is talking about um, something that has, represents a painful ending, which is why you are getting the surrender to the change, right? There's no coming back from whatever this is about. So it is requiring a pivot. Oh my goodness. Well, hello Aquarius. So when I do this split soulmate spread, um, you know, whatever side speaks more to your energy, that's fine, just claim it. 
um, but I usually uh, maintain that this side is for the sign I'm reading for or about. That's my intention, but it can certainly come through reversed because it's a general reading. So what I'm seeing here for your person is um, they're sort of waiting something out. This is about um, allowing something to progress, evolve, um, or grow organically. Their blocker challenge is around this connection. Um, obviously, this is someone who feels very close to you, um, comfortable with you. It's like you've known each other forever, and in some cases you probably have. Uh, but there's a challenge around that. And the opportunity for this person going forward is to sort of focus on either their own self-care or about what, what is available to them through a sense of groundedness and stability. Uh, what is it that they can rely on, right? For you, King of Swords, which is associated with the sign of Aquarius, comes in. And that's talking about, I love the king and the queen. It's talking about um, some strategy, right? The king of swords is coming from honor and integrity and honesty. Um, and yet they're sort of more about the details, Aquarius. Um, more about the higher purpose of it all, very Aquarian. And so it's calling from you, you're getting this energy around the honor and the integrity, yes, but in terms of what's the, how does that, how is that part of the plan? Your blocker challenge is around healing. Well, of course, if there's been a painful ending, there, it can be very challenging to heal from, and it may be around this person that you're dealing with, especially if you're here as a cross watcher for an Aquarian, correct? Ace of Wands is your opportunity, which is the new, which is the change, which is, right, the, the well, this is my opportunity to kind of pick myself back up um, and get in the game of life. So possibly some new excitement, adventure, potential, passion, inspiration awaits you. Let's see where we go from here. Yeah. Right. Um, interesting. So I'm feeling like there's this energy of um, the pain coming from some form of separation or um, absence of communication. Um, it's hard to operate on your intuition when you're feeling like you're in no man's land. It's also hard to heal. So you have to trust your intuition. You have to sort of say, well, where is this landing for me at this moment? And what's the path to the new? Where is the new beginning? Um, because with the Ace of Pentacles coming from the bottom of the deck, that's an internal reference. That's your subconscious awareness saying, okay, well, I have to turn the page somehow. It can be hard to come back from this, right? When you're sort of feeling like you have to um, intuit the path forward because you're not getting the communication or you're not um, working in tandem with this person, it's up to you to find that path to something new, a new opportunity, maybe um, a new beginning in the connection or in a whole new direction. Your person, Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Knight of, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Five of Cups. Whoever they are, they definitely have some regrets. Um, they're aware uh, that there's a need to clear the air and there's a there's a desire to like there's an impulse to come toward you quickly but um i feel that seven of pentacles is sort of modulating this person's impulse control right saying wait a minute wait a minute hold your fire keep your powder dry this thing has to sort of unfold organically why because whatever happened was so devastating that it isn't something you can just bounce back with real quick fast in a hurry and maybe say something out of turn or right that's inappropriate to the situation so i do feel this person has regrets 
um, for whatever it is that unfolded between you. And now they're sort of aware that they need to kind of come in and, um, yeah, clean up on aisle five is what I say about the Knight of Swords, but that it's something that will have to unfold more organically. Let's see their block or challenge with the Six of Cups. Five of Wands, Tower, Lovers. This connection is powerful. And sometimes, oh my gosh, my heart. Um, sometimes when we have a connection that feels so cosmically preordained, right? Like you know, like you know that you have traveled across time and space with each other as souls. But there's something here in 3D that has become either unsustainable, right? Tower, or the conflict is just so much that it wasn't something you could get beyond. Uh, I feel like they're really struggling to reconcile with whatever the conflict was, whatever the tension was, could have been a disagreement, could have been a million things. It's a general reading, so it'll be different for all of you. It's something that they're really struggling to come back from, bounce back from, but also to reconcile because they're feeling so connected to you. So the connection is legit. It's real. It's They feel it. They know. They regret they want to clear it up, but the timing doesn't, isn't yet, um, the timing isn't presenting itself right now. So let's see the Queen of Pentacles for the opportunity. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I don't know why I'm so emotional. I am really emotional. There's a lot of freaking energy in the sign of cancer right now, and I don't live well in that realm. I just don't. By uh, Saturn just stationed retrograde in Pisces, so I'm kind of like, where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to doing? What am I supposed to tell these people? <laughs> I just want to cry. But I love you, so take my emotions as a sign of my connectedness to you. Yeah, this person's opportunity in the future um, is to pick up the pace and do what needs to be done and come toward you when you are this Queen of Pentacles, just so we're clear, to come toward you with their vulnerability, with their heart on full display, to seek the forgiveness for the regrets that they have, for the way things unfolded, that seemed, that seemed to me to be so devastating that it's almost impossible for you to even heal from at this point. And so apologies uh, are necessary. Forgiveness and redemption and second chances, if they want it, will only come through by way of their sheer will to make it right. And the chariot, when I say make it right, it's like to come through it victoriously to triumph over this devastating situation. I mean, whatever this was, uh, and it could have happened a very long time ago, ago for some of you, and it could be as fresh as, you know, like, I'm not feeling like this just happened, but I am definitely feeling like it, it, it could be very recent because the, the challenge around the healing um, is what I'm really responding to. It feels near impossible. King of Swords for you. Oh, gosh. Guys. You are very much both focused on this connection. You are very much tied to the, each other at the level of heart and soul. And so that makes the disruptions, the, the um, 
cracks in the foundation, uh, it makes that, it's like, it, 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 it's, it explodes it. It puts it on steroids, that's what I'm looking to say. Right? The pain that comes from that is so much greater because the connection is so strong. And so when there's that crack in the foundation and things fall apart, it feels like it happens in dramatic fashion. Um, and so what I'm seeing here is you sort of anticipating, waiting for, you know, what's coming toward you. Is this person going to come in? You're heartbroken. You're heartbroken. Um, and so, yeah, it's difficult to, we're going to get to that, to um, find the path to healing when you're, when something has happened and somebody has, you know, disappeared there's separation, there may be little to no communication. The last conversation could have been explosive or there could have, I mean, I'm not feeling ghosting, but it's possible. Um, but there feels like so much energy between you both is hanging in the air. And so there's this, you know, almost difficulty to even address the healing that's needed because you just want this person's energy back and that would in essence be the healing not necessarily so um so let's see this four of swords in your blocker challenge <laughs> right temperance two of pentacles nine of cups Um, yeah, your struggle here is, I don't know if like, um, I even can heal this. It's going to take time. That's, you know, part of the energy of the temperance is a reference to some self-control restraint and going with the flow. Um, but I'm seeing this two of pentacles as if like, I don't know that I'll ever be happy again. I don't know that, you know, my wish will ever be fulfilled that this person will return. And so, yeah, it's going to be a long time before I get over this one. That's your struggle. Ace of Wands is your opportunity. Wow, guys. This one kind of came out, popped out. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Woo, Hierophant. So, should this person come in, their opportunity is to seek the second chance, to seek the forgiveness, to do so through their vulnerability, um, and to have the will to sort of Take that chance, right? There's, there are no assurances that you would be forgiving. So it, it, it assumes a lot, but it is about the will to overcome, to move forward, to make progress, to be victorious in a situation that requires a lot of sensitivity. Um, and for you, the opportunity is should that person, should that happen, it's a cause for celebration. It's about kind of getting back on the same page at the same time. It's about shoring up the foundation here. So there, so the cracks are made whole, if that makes sense. Because with the three of pentacles, they're all there down in the basement of the church or the tower, let's call it that, right? And they're supporting each other and helping each other. And they're... Uh, creating co-creating a, a stronger foundation so this th shit doesn't fall apart and i do think that's the new and there will need to be changes but i feel like there's an opportunity here for coming back together a reconciliation a cause for celebration and you know where it's coming from because you commit to it you decide that yes we're in this uh, I feel a strong sense of, you know, responsibility to be a person of my word. And they, 
feel the same way about you, that's the commitment I'm looking at. Is a commitment to the connection, a commitment to the friendship, a commitment to we got to we got to fix this because this was not fun for either of us. So no no matter how it all happened or came fell out, um, it definitely seems like you both took a hit and you're both in, in this suspended recovery mode. And so part of the healing comes from being able to envision a new beginning, something that comes, um, that, that's more up leveled, that comes from your beliefs around what commitment really even means, which is to be honorable and a person of your word and right to honor your obligations your responsibilities to someone else's feelings to their needs as well as your own and have that reciprocated i'm not seeing the six of pentacles but i'm feeling it in this reading and i i get the impression that was missing there may have been um something that wasn't sustainable because you weren't exactly on the same page and a lot was take was you know assumed so yeah I see great potential here to turn this ship around. Um, changes will need to be made for sure. That's part of that three of pentacles, working things out cooperatively. It's an interesting reading, Aquarius. Um, I'm not done. I'm going to give you the astrology here and take it to the extended. And I, I kind of want to look at this king of swords in more detail right go deeper here i gave you the broad view let's go deeper with them see how they are looking at this situation what they're processing right now how they see you think about you feel about you their intentions which are really important toward you in this connection etc so the links to that are below um and before i give you the astrology i've been telling everybody in this series of readings um and you all have been really wonderful so if you've heard me speak to this before you can just kind of scooch ahead um yeah there have been some changes to the youtube algorithm they make changes all the time the platform has updates all the time um and i'm usually on top of it last month i started to notice some changes and um you know views were way down and hardly any subscribers it's the first time in five years that i entered the month of june in negative numbers that has never happened i'm not doing anything differently um you know i don't have a lot of haters coming in on this channel um you're a really lovely beautiful group of people here's what has happened so the algorithm has been shifted to prioritize, and this is their word, prioritize new channels and shorts. So shorts, obviously, to compete with TikTok and Reels. Um, and so they're, they're putting all the shorts out, right? They're, they're promoting them the most. When I say promote, I mean recommending. And then new channels, um, because they're trying to get new blood fresh blood they have um, reduced the requirements in order to get monetized took me four to four months to get monetized um, when i first started so if i could have done it in four weeks that would have been great and i do not begrudge any new channels the opportunity that they're being given i i'm com fully supportive of new creators i really really am from my heart but what is happening is those of us that are just kind of plodding along and growing sort of organically and more slowly, like I'm not here to be an influencer. That's not what I'm after. I have no designs on having a million subscribers. I'm happy growing um, an audience of people that are invested in what I have to offer. And so come back for more. And we have this beautiful connection. There's so many lovely souls here. So this is the issue. I cannot stay here on this platform if I cannot support myself. And I have been able to support myself on this platform for going on five years now. It'll be five years mid-July. And all of a sudden, to not be able to meet my own basic bills, very scary. So there is something you can do to help. 
And I have been saying this in all the readings uh, for this series of readings and everybody has been really helpful and responsive. Here's how it works. If you have not subscribed yet and you've watched me for any length of time or maybe you're brand new today and you're like, I really like this reading. It spoke to me, it resonated, it gave good advice or insights. Please subscribe below, <laughs> okay? Do that. Um, even if you have that little notification bell clicked, unclick it, click it again, refresh your screen because sometimes um, when they do a, a platform update, they clear their cache, which means that, you know, it sort of resets a lot of things. Just do that. It helps so that you can see any new readings when they're uploaded. Also, go into my channel page and go to the playlist for Aquarius and scroll through and maybe watch one that you missed or one that you watched two months ago and you're curious to see, you know, how it really resonates with you now. Look at the titles. That's why I create those playlists. Um, watch some shorts. I'm now taking little snippets out of each video and creating shorts. So that doesn't cost you anything but a little bit of time. And uh, the way I do it is I bring my device right over to the kitchen sink when I'm doing dishes and I just run through some videos. And it's amazing, you know, that's how I support my brother and sister tarot readers as well. So that's my ask, it is very, humbling to have to be here making that kind of a request so thank you for the support you have shown and if you have any desire to keep me here on this platform um, i would greatly appreciate anything you could do to help me boost subscribers and boost views thank you here is your astrology high priestess is the moon i know i always associate her with pisces but i have been corrected because I keep my education up too, and I took this really wonderful course and um, had a back and forth with the, with the course instructor, and she was like, no, honey, that is the moon. So I am corrected. Knight of Wands is uh, Sagittarius. Knight of Swords is Gemini. We have the tower is Mars, which rules the sign of Aries. We have the lovers is Gemini. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. Knight of Cups is Pisces. Judgment is Pl uh, Pluto, yeah, which rules Scorpio. Cancerian energy in the chariot. King of Swords, of course, is Aquarian energy. Temperance is more Sagittarius. Um, and... Hierophant is Taurus. So that's what I have for you, my loves. Thank you for listening. Um, the links to the extended are below. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.